Hi and welcome to the Yaki Point of the Week and today I'm going to talk about ch the Chinese clock and why you have sleep disturbances. In Chinese medicine, organs correspond to specific hours. That's when their energy is at their peak. So when we have sleep issues, we have to look for patterns as to understand what's the underlying cause for insomnia or a sleep disturbance. The most common example is when a patient wakes up between 3 and 5 a.m. and usually around 4 a.m. And if so, we're talking about the metal element and specifically lung issues and themes associated with it. The emotion associated with the lung meridian is grief. As is the respiratory system the most involved and affected you, during the activity of crying. That's why when you are sick, also having a cold or a flu is experienced worse in the middle of the night, where cough and obstructed breathing occur, occurs the most. The same happens with grief. Uh, people who's going through a divorce or bankruptcy or coping with the death of a loved one tend to wake up around 4 a.m. for the first six months to a year. Once the person has gone through the different stages of grief to the acceptance phase and letting go, they tend to wake up after 5 a.m., between 5 and 7 a.m., and usually around 6, that is the large intestine hours, which is still metal element, but is the yang complement. That is also the peak hours for elimination and release. And when I'm talking about waking up, I'm talking about naturally, not due to an alarm that wakes you up artificially because you have to go to work. Also, factor in daylight savings as the timing is off. The same when people are having trouble sleeping between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., this corresponds to liver issues uh, that, that corresponds to the wood element, and therefore anger, frustration, stress, or the opposite, which is depression. And I already explained in a previous video that the relationship between repressed anger uh, and depression and how it gets, the anger gets internalized. Uh, if you are used to or you need to go to bed earlier and you are having trouble with sleeping between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m., we're talking about gallbladder issues. Also, the wood element, but the young pair of the yin uh, liver channel and the gallbladder uh, meridian is associated with decision making processes as the meridian uh, of the gallbladder runs front and back uh, on the sides of the body almost as if it cannot decide on its pathway both organs functions and emotions correlate to each other and as disease starts in the etheric emotional body, you want to attend to them and resolve any issues as to avoid their manifestation and incarnation into the tissues where they materialize, where they crystallize. That's what we call the issues in the tissues. And this is the nature of psychosomatics and disease. The same if you have any issues during the day at a specific time, like getting sleepy at 3 a.m. or you're hungry after 8 p.m., you want to see the corresponding organ energies and their associations with the flavors, emotions, and so on. I will make a video uh, about the flavors next week. And with that, I'm done today, and I take this opportunity to announce my 2023 Astro Guide. This is my holiday gift for you. It was a lot of work, and I'm very proud of it. And this is Western Astrology, as I only do Chinese medicine, not Chinese astrology yet. And this, will, this guide will help you to see what's next for the year ahead so you can prepare. And what uh, does 2023 has in store for you, depending on your sun, moon, or rising? For this freebie, subscribe to my website at virginiakelly.com and you get it in, an, in your inbox as soon as I launch it, sometime before the end of the year, along with monthly new moon freebies by sign. And the link again is in the bio and you can always reach out to me for personal consultations or sessions. And last but not least, if you find this information helpful, please like as it really helps me to keep this going. Share to whom you think might need this and subscribe and hit the bells for notifications so you don't miss out. Thank you and see you next time. Bye now.